Hello friends, this is Vinod Kumar and in this video we will discuss more about log4j in Java. For this I have just installed that um, Eclipse and JDK 1.7. So I am just going to do that uh, create that new project adding that class and respective jar file. So just starting now just go to file new Java project. I've just put that uh, project name log for j hyphen java by default it's choosing that locations like work space and I have installed that uh, java second editions 1.7 you can choose that whatever is there according to your availability I have added that this project in POC working set so it will appear in uh, like a POC click on that next as of now there is no library so I'll finish it I'll copy the library <coughs> and uh, few Java files because I'm a little bit lazy I don't want to write everything manually so we are getting some issue as of now jar file is not there but i have copied that log for j so i have to put in that build path add jars oh you can add that external jar while putting this library in some cod directory so uh, I want to work on the project specific so I have put that in um, same project locations click on the ok now error gone <coughs> so for implementing log4j we need a few java class and uh, property file so we'll start from property file so this log4j property is nothing but a property file so here we have to put that some configurations what you want to do that where you want to do that and how you want to do that so log4j root logger we are just using the debug you can use that info fatal and whatever other criteria is there where it what will be do that it will be print that in console and file as well log4j appender i'm just using the appender for st out in the console appender which is like a system dot out whatever so that it will be printed and second one I, we are using that i'm using that appender file which is a rolling file appender with um, some locations if the size will be reached 1 mb so we, and uh, it will back up it like next and maximum backup will be there for two only no more than uh, two file because in this case space issue it may be as per your availability you can configure that like a maximum backup index instead of a two two hundred three hundred hundred or whatever see there and the size as well there is a one um, java class will be there <coughs> package log 4j by core java and uh, log 4j core java samples this name of a class where there is final statics logger 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 and i don't want to like do that again and again declaration so i'll just put that final and statics like class level and different different method is there like uh, public void call me in app info for info print checking that info effective it will print the informations for one debug error and fatal is also there this class one i have created main app dot java where i'm just calling that like a sample like a log for java java sample class creating the object and calling their respective method like info one debug error and fatal so let's try to run now i just I'm clicking right uh, right click on over here go to run and java application wow we are able to see that informations like info one debug error fatal on an every one sections is printing this is all about um, in like you know, how to do that in eclipse 
for textual information you can uh, I'll log in into my website www.tutorialbyexample.com we are the log for the log uh, um, login in Java example is there same example you can find that some definitions what the hardware software requirement is there and image for that which ones are describing that event log level and logger levels like debug info one error and fatals debug info one error and fatal what is the criticality and how it will work if you go all the way down to all class level and configurations property file directory structure is there in top corner you'll find that my facebook where you can like and share it and also don't forget to subscribe and like you know, subscribe in my youtube thanks for watching my video have a good day ahead